So what I don't like about Anytime Fitness, now this does not mean that I don't like Anytime Fitness because I'm actually a member at <laughs> this particular gym, but it does not mean that at all. I'm just, I, if I were to change things, this is what I would change. And obviously over time, you want to see that change progress. If you love the content so far, make sure you smash that subscribe button and destroy that like button so I know y'all are enjoying the content and want to see the best content on YouTube. Let's freaking go. Okay, so the first thing and the biggest thing is that it is a small gym. Uh, limited equipment, limited amenities. Actually, I would say they're probably the gym with the most limited amenities out of probably the all the other corporate franchise ones out there. This is their niche too. This is their niche. This is what they specialize in. This is what the, the brand's all about. They're about more, more locations, 24 hours, uh, and they had to sacrifice cost and had to sacrifice somewhere. So they had to... Uh, sacrifice the amenities. There's, this is just their niche. This is just their plan, their business plan, and what they bring to their uh, clients or members. But keep in mind, though, this is what their business model is all about. It's all about a lot of locations while sacrificing uh, space and machines because they have to cut costs somewhere, right, in order to do that. So this is one thing that you can take into account when you are joining this gym. Is that it's gonna, it's gonna be small. It's gonna be small. You won't find locations that are massive. You won't find like a location that's as big as like a uh, like an LA Fitness or a Crunch or now it's uh, I can't remember what it's called now uh, Esport Fitness. You will you'll find locations that are are decent, but generally they will, they will they will be on this on the smaller side, and which is if you prefer that feeling. I mean I preferably do not really mind either or it's just it's something that i don't really mind this is on the customer service side you cannot access the owner directly if you have an issue with the gym if you have an issue well sometimes uh if the owner is like there a lot if they're training if they're a trainer then you can access them but overall you you really could not access the owner and it's it's kind of uh sometimes a pain if you do have issues with the gym if you have issues with anything else inside of the gym itself it, it can be just a pain man i i, I don't know how i don't know how to explain it it's but it's a corporate thing though it's uh even though this gym is franchised out it's still a corporate model it's still something they have to take into account and if you do take customer service really seriously. It's gonna take a little bit of work to get to the franchiser because they have, you know, assistants, they have you know, the front desk person. The one I go to though, the owner's training, you know, he's there, he's active. So you will get the owners that are active with members, but you also get the owners that are not as active and like never at the gym. It's just something you have to also take into account. So I said they have limited machines and this is true. One common issue though, one common issue, but I personally haven't had a lot of trouble with this, but I still have noticed it. From my experience, I've seen locations not have enough squat racks for the members. Now they do try and tackle this by adding in a squat rack here and there on some sort of like functional machine to kind of save costs but generally speaking you will get those locations that then this is just like a general problem with this you will get those locations that do not have enough racks uh to cover their member base now obviously they do have you know the the demographics of the area but generally speaking people like squat racks and they do love to squat man they like to use barbells it's just what weightlifters and people who are in the fitness like to do. So you have to take that into account as well. Adding on to that, bench presses. You it is very rare, if it, at all, that you will see a bench press at any time fitness. It's usually uh, built into the rack, a squat rack of some sort. So now, keep in mind, I did have one location that did have an all out bench press, but that was a rare occasion. And you will, be, you will get those 
I would say more times than not, you will you have a bench press that's built into a squat rack, which is fine. Once again, it gets the job done. You typically do not get every powerlifting aspect at these gyms. It's just how it goes. You probably have to go to a powerlifting gym in order to get that. But overall though, I, I do see this gym as a potential to be great for a lot of people. It really is, and it's great to have this type of gym but it's great to have this kind of gym because once again it is 24 hours but you can access it any time you want which is great that's that's amazing i do love that feature that's a great feature man it is an excellent feature and i've taken advantage of this many times before uh and it's it's, it's, it's great this is something that just the machines the lack of machines can get to you but you have to find ways, but not, okay, not locations, but you have to find ways in order to combat this type of issue in the in the short term and in the long term, because it, it, it can become an issue. And it can and it will if you're used, if you're someone who's used to a lot of machines. Real quick, a quick shout out to TGM Gabe for smashing that subscribe button. Gabe, I appreciate you subscribing in and supporting what I do. If you guys want the opportunity to shout out one of my future videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, a lot of y'all are not subscribing. You are missing out on the content, the best content ever on YouTube. You're missing out, yo. Y'all are missing out. Subscribe, smash that like button, that's the video. And y'all, that's all I got though. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, once again, subscribe means a lot to me. Also, smash that like button or destroy that like button. Uh, this is just a few things I preferably do not like about any time fitness but uh overall i would like to see these things change uh but some of them are just caught in the in the uh, business model and we kind of have to deal with them if you're gonna join this gym i mean every gym has their their cons but guys that's all i got and i will see you broskies in the next video <laughs>